Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. So you might recall that I've recently uploaded a video onto my channel about features in Minecraft which really make me wonder why they exist, because they suck now, they suck when they were first introduced, and they haven't really had many changes made in between. They're just kind of a feature that you know, make me question their existence, and I figured that, you know, it's kind of the counterbalance to that, because although you might say, oh, you're just complaining about this, there's lots of features in Minecraft that used to just really not make any sense, used to really suck, but are now really great things, and I think it'd be kind of cool to go through five massively improved features in Minecraft, and that's what I'm doing in today's video, in the Let's Play world, which hopefully you all do enjoy. So like the video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like, I guess, seeing this world, because I really love showing off this world, it's uh, my all survival world uh, that I've been doing a Let's Play on for like over 280 episodes now, but yeah, with that said, let's get straight into the first feature here, which you can guess, because I'm, I'm staring at it right now, and it is the minecart. So the minecart has fundamentally changed over the past like seven and something years, uh, because basically uh, when the minecart was first added, it one, had an entirely different texture, but two, had an entirely different purpose too. So when the minecart was first added, again, all these years ago now, uh, it was basically meant to be a way to put items in there. So for instance, we'd throw our torches in there. I mean, now it just goes through. You'd put your torches in there or your any item in there and it'd function kind of like a chest, except the chest would be on rails. So uh, yeah, it'd have like a dirt level that filled up so they know how full the chest was and it was a way to transport stuff from one place to another. For instance, if you were mining, that's, you know, a minecart. You put stuff in the minecart. Generally, minecarts aren't considered rideable, except Notch decided to just change this, you know, a few weeks afterwards and he made it a rideable mechanic thing and that became a key part of Minecraft. Even just with that one change itself, it changed so much about the game. You know, if you ever watched the uh, trailers of Minecraft, of the time, most of them use the minecart roller coasters because it's one of the things that you could do at the end of, you know, it's like an end, a piece of end game content to actually just make this amazing roller coaster that does this or does that. So yeah, uh, that was the first big change to the minecart, but that's not the only thing they did. They didn't just change the, you know, fundamental core of it, but then they also made it into what it is today, the amazing roller coaster machine, the way to transport so fast, like in my Skyrail, look how fast you can get across the world, uh, because they basically, uh, you know, one of the key changes they made was the ability to have powered rails. So powered rails are, of course, powered by redstone, uh, and they were, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you, you might think today, oh yeah, of course they ex existed all the time, but they only came in with a beta 1.5 update, and without them, I guess we're going, <laughs> and we're going to follow these along, are we? But yeah, without the, um, Without these powered rails, you'd have to have a furnace minecart uh, well, behind you, following the whole thing. And furnace minecarts, as a result of this, are entirely useless. But the minecart itself has been made massively more useful, and this feature definitely does not suck anymore. So yeah, that is uh, the uh, minecart, perhaps one of the most improved features uh, ever in Minecraft's history. Because again, it's so iconic today, but it used to just really not have much use. Uh, which uh, you know, I guess is uh, makes me uh, think of this second one here because it is the birch tree. So bear in mind that this birch forest right here is an artificial one. I planted it for fun because you know why not, right? Uh, but yeah, but. But basically the birch wood and the birch tree itself really didn't have much use really used to suck when it first existed because um yeah basically uh, the uh, nowadays you know all types of trees have their own uses you get different planks you get different you know like things you can make those planks so like uh birch fence gates or like birch fences birch doors all these different things when the birch was first added not only did it have a different texture so it was a slightly worse texture like you know the inside looked very similar to uh, oak uh, but the outside texture you know this isn't the prettiest of all of them so it was an ugly texture on the outside but then you couldn't do anything once you got it but Besides, turn it into oak wood. So it was basically just oak wood, but rarer and also less. I mean, in my opinion, uh, worse looking. Like most of the time, you're going to use oak wood as a wood rather than birch wood. And it just made it one of these blocks that had pretty much no use. Like you know, it makes a forest feel better because oh look, every now and then there's a birch. But realistically, it was just a you know, it was one of those things that like had some flavor but didn't actually uh, add anything to the game until they decided to uh, again over the course of many updates, they improved the texture. Then they made it so you can make birch planks, which we can do right now. Look at that. Now we've got like these brand new things. Those birch planks can now make, you know, all these different things, uh, you know, birch bolts, birch uh, uh, doors, bo bo birch, um, you know, like uh, fences and all that sort of stuff. We can make all these things of birch now, and it basically has gone from, you know, again, being a random bit of flavor to being a generally useful building block that a lot of people do like to use, because it's a really brightly colored wood, which is, of course, pretty handy. So yeah, birch uh, planks and birch wood in general went from being the most, one of the most pointless features to being a pretty useful one. Do you see the blaze just this there? But yeah, with that said, let's move on to the third feature here. You, you probably guessed it, because we're here right now, it is the never. So the never is a feature that, you know, when you picture it now, you picture all the things that do exist, but bear in mind, even when Minecraft console first came out uh, four years ago, so, you know, 1.6 beta, quite some time into it, the never still didn't have much use, because uh, the, the things it had at that time was just two mobs, so there was the ghast and there was the zombie pigmen, you know, how much use did you have for them before the uh, ghast here, so there was two mobs, 
precisely too. Uh, you know, you could get gunpowder and you could get, uh, I think, rotten flesh when that came out. But even before that, there was no rotten flesh. It was just, oh yeah, you can kill these guys if you want to, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it was just an opportunity to get yourself some gunpowder and some never rack and then sometimes some glowstone. Those were your opportunities, uh, you know, in the never. Uh, think about how much things have changed. First of all, there's never brick because they added the, uh, the never fortress. This is a key part of the game. Now going to the never actually makes sense. It's something you always have to do. It's this super dangerous area because they also added, uh, what is that, like two or three more mobs. So there's the uh, the blaze. There is the wither skeleton, like we've got in front of us, a variant of the skeleton, which is one of the weirder ways they've added them up. But still, we've got the wither skeleton just in front of us, uh, as well as regular skeletons now spawn here sometimes because of that whole variant thing. But as well as that, then we've got, um, you know, of course, we've got the magma cube and just all these uh, brand new mobs plus brand new blocks. So like I said before, we've got never brick. We've also got never quartz, which is, you know, one of the coolest stores in the game, one of the best for XP, one of the most, you know, magnificent looking once you uh, refine it. But then also we've got magma. So if I look around here, I'm going to find some. Maybe it's down there. Okay, so yeah, as well as, well as having, you know, Neverack, um, no, all, all these extra blocks. Oh, there's one literally in front of me. Uh, here is a magma block right there. As you can see, this, this block just looks amazing. And basically when it comes to never changes, I really should not have done that. Um, when it comes to never changes, the, the never has gone from being, a, uh, you know, something you went to to maybe get glowstone. Like, that was all my friends used to use it for. I went there once because um, the, the very first time I played Minecraft, I wasn't familiar with the never. My friend was just like, oh yeah, you've got obsidian. We can use that to make a portal. I went through and I was just kind of underwhelmed by this place where everything just exploded and there wasn't really any purpose to it. But nowadays you go into the Never and there's a billion different things. There's brewing, there's some of the best blocks in the game, there's some of the hardest mobs with you know, more, some of the best XP rates by the way. Uh, Blazers and Wolf Skeletons both give you double. You know, there's, there's all these different things you can find here and it just makes you question like, why did people come here before? So let's uh, uh, hop up here and move on to the fourth feature which is better now which goes pretty well with the uh, Never actually because it is the Golden Apple. So you might think the Golden Apple has always been amazing and it's always been the best food in the game or one of the best food. You know, again, it depends on what you're looking for. But when the golden apple was first added, it was before the uh, the new health system. You know, it was with the uh, old one where there was no hunger, just the health bar that you replenished. So it was the best food in the game, but it just replenished your health bar all at once. You may be like, no, that's really good. A full health bar uh, worth of health is pretty good stuff. But you got to bear in mind that's not actually too useful because at the time, you know, the, the food was in uh, eaten instantly. There was no eating animation like... You know what, let's, let's get some uh, damage done to us so we can get an eating animation going on here. Okay, so there we go. Lots of lava for me. Uh, so yeah, there was no eating animation at the time, so there was no like, ooh, slowly bring it to your mouth and eat it. You could just left trigger and you'd instantly eat your pork chop or your whatever else you had. And, uh, oh, jeez, I'm being entirely wrecked right now. This is not what I wanted at all. Um, <laughs> okay, so now we can definitely eat. So, okay, there we go. Um... You see that little animation? Totally worth the pain, right? But yeah, uh, so now that there's an eating animation now, so it takes like a, a solid half a second. Before, there was none of that, so you could just like eat four, you know, steaks immediately. And it meant that the point of having a golden apple was very little. Then, when they finally did add the new system, they made it so you got regeneration for 30 seconds, but that's still not quite as good as where it is today, where you can, you know, the only way to get absorption is through either, you know, modded serve commands or by eating one of these, because this means that my health bar is 20% higher. And also, as you can see, I got that little bit of regeneration boost too, but now my health bar is 20% higher. This means that I essentially have, you know, an extra, you know, 20% armor or something like that. And uh, yeah, it just makes this amazing food that you can eat in addition to regular food. And uh, yeah, golden apples uh, were so good, in fact, that they had to be nerfed with the 1.9 update. That's how good these golden apples are. So yeah, if that's not enough of a convincing feature, it's like, oh, this used to be bad, now it's good. Let's go to the end to talk about the last one, because this is one that hasn't improved yet on the console, but is going to very shortly. So we have to mine our way out there, uh, because it's, it's, like I said, it's going to be improving very shortly. It just hasn't quite done that yet. So um, yeah, I don't actually have an end pull on me, so we'll have to do that. Because basically, uh, you know, they added in the most recent update, the shulkers, right? And shulkers are a really cool mob. Like, the way you fight them is really bizarre. And I think uh, on console, this is a particularly big issue because, um, so again, we're going to have to just uh, kill us, uh, kill one of these guys. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy, but we just, we're, I just need your ender pearls, um, and then we're gonna uh, stack ourselves into one of those things and make this happen. Uh, it, it's been a while since I've done this actually. Like uh, since the update came out, I haven't really gone back to the end cities. I probably should. I just, again, I haven't. So yeah, let's uh, place that. We'll go to the safest one, which looks like it might be over there. Actually, yeah, yeah it's, it's probably this one over here. We'll stack into it, and we'll go see the Shulkers, because Shulkers, again, like I said, amazingly cool mob. I'm sure you've all seen them. They, uh, you know, they, they, they teleport from place to place. They really challenge you in a bunch of ways. However, the thing about them that's not quite so exciting, so we should be like, Okay, wait, let's... Okay, we got three enderpearls. We, we we can't mess this up, right? There we go, perfect. So, as you can see, here's me in my 
end city where apparently I spawned right up here. And here you can see Shulker, super cool mob. They make you float. No other mob challenges you by literally making you like fly into the sky, right? However, the thing about the Shulkers that makes them less interesting is the fact that you kill them once, then they don't respawn. I mean, uh, again, on the PC, they do, I believe. But, you know, as far as I understand it, they naturally spawn and that's about it. And the reason that that's not so exciting is because you only get four end cities max on console, so you have to reset your end to find more of them. But not only is that the reason that they suck now but won't in the future, uh, but also, uh, you know, they, they don't really give you any drops when you kill them. I'm going to kill one right now and just kind of prove that, so let's just tag my whole bunch. Uh, <laughs> even with a looting enchantment, you know, uh, okay, we'll, we'll wait a bit, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so um, bear in mind that they don't actually drop anything, you know, a, a significant note right now, whereas in the next update, you know, 1.11, uh, whenever that comes to Minecraft console, they're going to drop shulker shells, which are used to craft shulker boxes, so it's like a, a real improvement to them. Uh, I, I, again, I really love the, the idea of the shulker fight because of this whole, like, you've got to whack their attacks away or they'll kill you or whatever. But yeah, let's do this. Let's finish them off. As you can see, literally no drop. You get a tiny bit of XP, but that's about it. And then, you know, this for one of the hardest mobs to find in the game. You have to go through all these steps on the harder, harder mobs to kill and the more interesting mobs to fight. And you don't get anything for it. However, in the next update, they're going to stop sucking. And they're going to allow you to get one of the coolest items in the game, the Shulker Box. But for now, they're just a bizarre thing that you come and you fight and then you're kind of done with. And it makes me question... Why? Why does that need to be that way? But that's just me. I'd love to know what you... Is there no way back, by the way? Like, I I, I still don't know how I actually properly ended up here. But yeah, um, let me know what you think about all of these in the comments down below. Do you have one that you really like that I missed out and you're like, no, but this this used to be bad and now it's great. I'd love to hear it. Um, otherwise, uh, I hope you did enjoy the video. Like it if you liked it. Share if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel about all sorts of things in Minecraft. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll see them dead in your homepage. Also, every single Monday, I do a Let's Play on this world if you want to check more of that out. That's uh, a thing you can do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.